Hello everybody, it is Brian for GadgetUnit.com, and in this video I'll be taking a look at Destruction Derby for the original PlayStation, as you can tell here. This game was released for the PS1 in November of 1995 in the US. It actually came out a month earlier for MS-DOS, so it was actually released for a different platform before the PS1 in the US. This was a Psygnosis game in addition to a Reflections game. I've already taken a look at the first Destruction Derby 2, which I do prefer over the first one. The tracks are much more wider. This one is very narrow, as you'll see in a little while. But if you couldn't tell already, this is a car game where you can race around the track or destroy other cars in an arena. It takes a little while for the menu to load, or at least go to the first little demo mode here. As you can see, this is one of the tracks that they have. Let's go ahead and skip this and go to the main menu. Which, like I said, does take a little while to load. There might be loading screens in the real version for the PS1. I'm not sure if my Windows emulator is set up properly for that, but apparently there may or may not be a menu or loading screen like the second Destruction Derby. That's what I'm going for. Here is the main menu. It does look similar to the second one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the options. We have audio, center screen, fastest laps, and control pad. Control pad, we'll just go ahead and show you the controls for this game, but they are very simple. Let's go to the main menu, and here are the main options. First, we can choose the car. The actual car model is pretty much the same, but you only have different difficulty modes to choose between. And as you'll see right now, we have the rookie class, the amateur car, as well as the pro smoothie car, which I will go with. This is actually the second time I've re I'm recording this video. The first time, for some reason, my microphone was not working at all, even though it looks like it was. Let's go ahead and look at the tracks that we have to start out with. As you notice from the little preview photos here, all of these tracks are very narrow, so passing is fairly difficult. We'll go ahead with the figure 8 track for now. There are other ones that you can unlock. Here are the different modes. You have Wrecking Racing, which is just a regular race around the track, but the goal is also to hit the other cars, whereas Stock Car Racing is just a traditional race around the track. Destruction Derby is a Destruction Derby in an arena level, and Time Trials would just be getting a fast lap time. Let's choose Wrecking Racing for now. We'll do a practice round, and let's go ahead and go. Any second now. And here we are. We are starting first out of 20 total cars. And here we go. So this game does not use the analog sticks for steering, which is a little bit unfortunate. But you can use the D-pad fairly easily with this game. I'm doing much better than I did in the first take for this video. Well, I'm pretty sure things are going to get pretty terrible within the next couple of laps, of which there are 10 total. If I remember correctly, this game was actually fairly advanced back in 1995, given the number of cars that they have on track at once and the, the damage modeling that can happen to the cars after you hit things and such. In the upper left corner, it's keeping track of our race points, which you get by hitting the other cars faster than what I just did, however. Although I am up to four points right now. Now is when things are going to get a little bit tough, although we did keep going. Ooh, that was close. Currently in second place. Nobody has been taken out yet. Currently halfway through this race. Wow, just barely made it through that group of cars going down in the intersection. Up to six race points. Since I'm, in a, ooh, since I'm in a practice session, race points don't matter at all, but when you're doing the championship run, those do matter since the points is pretty much all they go by there. Whereas in the stock car racing mode, your finishing position is what they go by. Gonna go on the inside lane, pass all those cars. And this guy just blatantly took me out. Currently in third place, which is not too bad. Seven laps down. 
Those two guys just wrecked each other. I'm not sure if 35 is actually no. I was just going to say if he was in the second position, but if that was the case, he would have had the uh, second, actual second numbers on top of his car. As you can see, the third guy has it. The second place guy would have something similar above his car. Currently in fourth, which I don't want to finish in. So I'm up to second so far. Not sure how far ahead the leader is right now. Looks like he was about half a lap ahead as he went by the intersection there. Yep, it is the final lap and we're doing... Compared to the first lap, I was pretty much just getting hit left and right by other cars. Oh, might be able to pass the leader here. He got held up by these cars. Not sure if I'm going to be able to pass him. Nope. Maybe an extra couple of laps and something might have been able to happen. But that is it with this race. And now we're going to go ahead and do a Destruction Derby. Let's go back to the mode screen, choose Destruction Derby. This is going to be a practice session again. And this time we're not able to choose between different arenas. So let's go ahead and start this out. And waiting still. And here we go. So compared to the main first arena that you start out in, in Destruction Derby 2, this one is much smaller. I don't think I did a 360 there, but okay, I'll take it. Up to 12 race points so far, up to 22, 32, 38. I will say that the graphics between the two games are incredibly similar. And I would say that the physics seem very similar as well. Not to say that either of those things are bad for this game, given when it was released almost 20 years ago. To 40 points. I'm just going to keep going around in circles and see who I happen to hit. Let's start going left, up to 42 points. I'm not sure if I have a lot of points or how well that would do if I was doing the championship mode, and we are done. I should have started going backwards, but my radiator started blowing, and that is it. And yeah, that is it with this video of Destruction Derby for the original PlayStation. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that is it with the video, so thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.